Axolotls, guns, and nuclear throne slash gungeon gameplay. An absolutely perfect combo if you ask me, and thanks to Two Awesome Studio for the free copy of the game. I'm not dead, don't worry, the channel is going on full auto mode from this point forward, so without further ado, this is how I got all the achievements in Axolotl. Axolotl just released, so it's no surprise that there's only 27 achievements that were shipped with it. Not one of these had difficulty requirements, so when I launched the game to see that there was a baby mode and a mode for people who are not afraid of challenges, I was conflicted for maybe about 5 seconds. Then I picked the harder of the two, of course. As I said, this game is heavily inspired by Nuclear Throne or Gungeon, as it's a top-down, room-to-room shooter. Each room has its specific icon indicating what you'll be getting as a reward upon completion. In the tutorial's case, it started me off with a standard weapon yeah. floor to get me going, gun, and then straight after, a blue chest. These are for items. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like this. Gamer juice. Each of these biomes has around 10 floors and at the end you fight a boss. In the case of the tutorial, it was a one-time encounter mini boss. Oh my god, it's the sign! Ugh! That's why he's called Sus Guy. He's already dead, we're good. Upon ending the tutorial, we are plopped into the hub world. Though there is absolutely nothing to do here in the beginning as the game has a heap of things to unlock in the future, so I just started a run in which we got our very first achievement. Yeah baby, the rampage begins. Oh shit. A lot of learning had to be done as to learning which rooms were which, but I remembered what this axolotl room was because of one of the earlier game trailers. Which one do I- oh, I want the axolotl. Hello! Oh, I already got another one. First egg, Corgi! The axolotls you collect during runs through the eggs are a unique collection mechanic that is pretty exclusive to this game. It just hatches them. Oh. These guys follow you home after the runs, and from now on, you must take care of them. No! Bro, is this it's like the DS game? WarioWare, bro. Why? You killed the uh -oh. spoon. Oh, come on. For people who really like collecting uh -oh. things like Pokemon, oh my. this will be a dopamine hit as there's a big variety of them to find oh and many God. more coming out with each and every upcoming patch. Another really cool thing is that you can make each and every one of these axolotls a unique and usable playable character once they're fully grown adults. Once you fully nurture them through the little mini games, they'll grow into teenagers. Yeah, throw your first little axolotl. After they become teenagers, you come to this cauldron in the middle and using the ingredients you collect between each run, you can make food that gives specific attributes, active abilities, and passives. On top of this, you can assign them a certain class too, giving them a higher damage with a certain weapon type and higher odds of finding said weapon. I ended up making a berserker using the knight skin and gave him the ability to call in an item for free. This is beside the point though, as I still got my first run to go through. Pushing through the very first biome, we get to our first actual boss. It's a crab, no! <laughs> The Pond Pincher? Let it rip, let it rip, Beyblade. Alright, you're done, Pond Pincher. What? What is that face? What? Oh! After defeating each boss, there's typically a mini hub in between starting each biome. I figure they'll add more in the future here, but for now, you can heal at this bonfire and steal fish from an NPC, which is an achievement. Moving along, oh. we manage to get to the second boss with little to no trouble. Oh. This guy's a big pushover as he's easily the easiest boss in the game. Was that Saitama One Punch Man? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> the third floor and above is where the difficulty really ramps up though. Specifically speaking, I absolutely oh, the detest these bull enemies. No! You have been on top of me. I read one of the secret achievements taglines and I knew I what had you. to be done. So back in the hub world, we New grabbed baby. a baby and I mentally prepared to make a sacrifice. Wait, what are you what? doing? What are you doing? Oh, wait, it actually doesn't need to get cooked. Another easy achievement down. Booting up some more runs and I immediately encounter this diamond room. I didn't know at the time, but it turns out this was a challenge room. These rooms spawn a higher quantity of enemies and higher bulks, hence the challenge. Doing this room for the first time rewards you with an achievement, Done, but these please. are almost always worth doing as they reward you with extra out of game currency through the diamonds. This time around I'm actually doing well on the third floor, and on the way to the boss we pop another freebie achievement for killing 25 frog enemies. Oh, an achievement. Finally we make it to the third boss, whom is a big solid snake reference. Slippery little snake. 
This guy was tanky. But once you figure out some of his patterns, he's really simple. Whoa, what the? Oh, got him. <gasps> Akuma? Oh. Was that Akuma? Yeah. So nice. sick. The fourth floor amps up the difficulty again, adding a lot more bullet hell enemies. But before I bit the dust on this run, I managed to earn the achievement for earning 500 Doritos in a single run. Yes, the currency is actually Doritos. Once again, back to the hub world, and this time the Bliss Stalker shop opens up. This shop is used for permanent run upgrades, but there's a catch. In order to buy any of these upgrades, the crow wants your whole colony of axolotls to be depressed. Once you fill their happiness up, you snatch them up, drag them against their will, and then the crystal drains all of their happiness. I got an achievement. This is a slow process, so I made sure to do this at every opportunity. Doing another few unsuccessful run attempts. You're kidding, god dang it. I was given another surprise in the hub world. Another new shop. The drop in doggo is our item seller in the game. And as I mentioned, the diamonds before, that's what you spend for some juicy items. What? Your bullets destroy enemy bullets on contact? Okay, boss time. We're about to find out what happens. The fourth boss was a huge step up in difficulty from the last one. And I know I said that about the biome too, but it's the real truth. I'm so thankful I've, I played Gungeon before this. I beat him! I beat him! Yes! Then I immediately get cooked on the next biome because it's cracked, so back home we go. I got hit again! I'm dead! Oh! New Axolotl build this time. We've got the Banana Lotl, who's a demo man, and we made him have the ability to carry two weapons. He felt pretty decent, actually, but the grenade launchers in this game were kind of a nightmare to aim and control. During this run, we gain another achievement. We defeated one of every enemy besides the bosses, which kind of shocked me, but at the same time, doing these achievements as early as possible will always make achievements like this much easier. Turns out this new character's playstyle is exactly what I needed, as finally, I made to the final boss and i clutch up <gasps> no the elder axolotl the cthulhu lotl no not again did i win oh my god <gasps> why did i take damage why am i taking damage as it turns out i potentially lost my first win to a really painful bug where you can take damage in a cutscene i'm dead <gasps> That's so bullcrap. That is so cheap. I am so mad. Oh, it took my. forever. Yep. But I finally make it back to the same phase before using nothing but melee. Easily the best weapon archetype in the game. I already can heal again. Maybe that was broken, that legendary. Roll that. Yeah, look at it charge. Roll that. What? I already beat him? Third phase? Really? Did I win? Did I win? Yes! Yes! I finally won! I did something today. <laughs> Two and a half hours of nothingness into a win. United with family and with plenty of food to go around. This axolotl can look back proudly on this miraculous achievement. Achievement, achievement. Once we get back to the hub world after winning, I unlock the final of the eight starter weapons, the melee starter axe. But yet again, we earn the achievement arm to the gills for unlocking all eight. Now we must win again, 10 more times. I swap classes once again. This time I have the item spawning ability. Now I wasn't sure if this was intended or not, but after defeating the boss again, this time, it says that I lose my run. Oh my god! Cool. Game. Game. Like, what do you mean, game? I still have hearts left, come on. I thought it must have been a fluke, and I did the same exact run two times more, and it was safe to say I was getting a little bit pissed. Don't. Yeah, I'm not. I can't play anymore. At the end, I figured it out. It must have had something to do with the fact that I was making a pact with the devil every time my ability was up. Yeah, yeah, that must be it. So I swapped characters and we started getting wins that counted. I'm worried it's not. Oh, it did. Okay. During these lengthy runs, I ended up killing a total of 1,000 of these really basic caterpillar enemies for an achievement. Also, I didn't catch the clip and I never noticed, but... 
I also rolled 537 times just to get Rick rolled by another achievement. I was also aware that there were secret rooms, but I had no clue how to find any. Lo and behold, shooting literally every wall somehow did the trick. I found one. And we found ourselves another found achievement. <gasps> no, I walked into it without picking up an item. Another ridiculously funky bug that I encountered while grinding wins involved the money equals power item. My scaling was ridiculously high, but once I bought a single item from the shop, the bug negated way too much damage off my stats. That led to everything becoming essentially completely invincible, but credit where credits are due, they already fixed this bug. Upon doing my ninth victory here, the achievement bugged and popped early. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, uh, I got the achievement at nine wins. I mean, why wouldn't it, right? Either way, I went straight back for my 10th real win, so it counts. Now that I've played through the game a very high amount of times, we managed to save up an extremely high amount of diamonds to spend on any of the shops. I decided on speedrunning the weapon shop for a wider variety of fun weapons to use during my runs. There we go. That's every goddamn weapon. The Bliss Taker shot was next, and by this point, I have a considerably higher count of axolotls I've been taking care of. So we dragged them by the feet, one by one, lined them up with the crystal, and made every single one completely depressed. Boom. Uh, every permanent upgrade now. Lastly, the drop in doggo shop, easily the most expensive costing of the shops, as I still had a handful of more runs to do to unlock every single item. Ka-chow, that's every item in the video game. One of the cool things is that when you complete these shops, you're given a special axolotl as an in-game award to commemorate cool. your achievement. Now it's time to die. A lot. A hundred times to be exact. I've never been a fan of achievements that incentivize you to die over and over again, as it's not really something that people do that often. So over and over again, over the course of an hour's time, we walked into the first room and let the first enemy kill me until we eventually got to a hundred deaths. Probably gonna do hell. I got it! Just one more achievement for the 27th, and I've been completely shafted. This one's so simple, it's to find and kill a mimic. Something that I definitely should have gotten by this point, but 50 full runs in, we still haven't a trace of the mimic. I'm unsure if this is a bug or I'm missing something, but I asked around in the discussion forums, and people are just as puzzled as I am. So here's me definitely killing a mimic from Axolotl. It's, it's not a different game, I swear. That's it! Those were, mostly, all the achievements in Axolotl. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, you know what to do. This game has a ton of future potential, as it's very fun gameplay-wise, but just a little too many bugs and not enough content yet. Though they announced a pretty snazzy roadmap, and it looks like it's just gonna keep getting better and better, so it's gonna be one to be worth watching out for, for sure. Sorry for the delay in video making, but I'm officially back, and I'm going ham again at YouTube, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next week.